With so much impressive AI art out there, many Blender users and potential new Blender users might start to wonder whether there is any point of learning Blender anymore when AI is able to produce these images in just a few seconds. And I get that it's easy to be demoralized by these results, but in this video I'm going to show you the large amounts of gaps left by AI for providing value with Blender. These points might of course change over time as AI advances, but as of late 2023, these are definitely gaps that you as a Blender user or user of any other 3D software can take advantage of. So how do you provide value with Blender in the age of AI? And the first point is 3D modeling. Whether it's for industrial design, video games, movies, 3D printing, or music videos, AI is still very limited in creating 3D models. It might give you a very beautiful still image with the illusion of having many 3D models in the image, but it doesn't actually generate any object files that you can use for animations or any type of continuity in the content. Once the 3D model is done, you also need to animate it. While there are many tools to make the process of animating easier, there are still a vast amount of human intervention required to animate models. The process of rigging and animating is still far away from being completely automated. And if you have watched my videos on AI generated videos, you will see that the AI generated videos are very inaccurate and filled with errors. In other words, if you can rig and animate in Blender, you're still able to do a lot of things that AI can't do yet. Also, if you want to create any type of VFX or simulations where you need things to move precisely, you of course still need Blender or similar software like Houdini to be able to make that. AI does not make simulations very well yet. Of course, if you only need one still image, AI can create some uh, cool water and particle effects, but if you need anything that moves and that's more than one frame, we're going to have trouble using AI. The next point is environments. And AI can of course create very beautiful scenes, at least with one image. But if you want any type of continuity where you have the same environment in multiple frames, you again need Blender to keep the details consistent and keep the continuity of the scene. And of course, for architectural visualizations, you need a 3D model, and you also need the details to be consistent over time and not change for every frame, which it does with AI-generated animations. AI is of course still far away from creating architectural visualizations that can be used for anything commercial. AI can of course create a lot of cool concept art, but for the actual model and the visualization, you can't really use AI yet. Conclusion, there's still a bunch of different ways to provide value with Blender, so don't worry for now.